We also notice a lot more women in the stands this year. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald is also live with us downtown. She noticed a culture shift this year. Hannah, why was that? Probably because there have been other women paving the way for other women to get involved, Olivia. Marcus Erickson, he is one of the drivers with a woman on his crew. Of course, he's the guy who won the Indy 500 this year and also the driver who won here in Nashville last year. All of this representation and enthusiasm is bringing more women out to the tracks. It's not unusual for women to go to Nissan Stadium to watch football. But to watch cars race, you're more likely to find men. Because it is mostly male dominated, you know, I feel like that, you know, maybe women or girls never really want to do that. Scott Dixon now. Professional racing driver Scott Dixon finished second in last year's Big Machine Music City Grand Prix. This year, through the Women in Motorsports Initiative, he's helping accelerate opportunities for females interested in motorsports through internships. For me being a, a, a girl dad, um, you know, you kind of want to have that option of, you know, when they came to the racetrack. Little by little, representation in racing is shifting. The female fan base is growing too. Everything can happen since uh, last year, uh, Ericsson uh, started uh, from the end of the start field and uh, won, so everything can happen. His mother-daughter duo visiting from Sweden loves the unique excitement just like this teacher from Kentucky. I, as a female, don't see any difference. I mean, it's just getting out and enjoying something new and different and getting excited about it. Are you a bigger fan than your husband now? Probably. <laughs> to work with a winning driver to win the Indy 500 this year, um, it's all kind of kind of unbelievable. And for those female trailblazers on the track, like engineer Angela Ashmore, she hopes being in her data-driven role shows young girls what their futures can look like. There's nothing that makes, you know, a man any better at doing math than a girl doing math. There's nothing that makes, you know, a man better at making a strategy call and makes a woman any worse. We're highly qualified, we're smart, and if you set your mind to it, you can do it, and you're absolutely welcome to be here. At the end of the day, a lot of these jobs are STEM jobs, after all. And right now, Angela Ashmore, what she's doing behind us down on the course is calculating how much fuel should go into Marcus Erickson's car and when. If you want to know more about what she does, head over to our website. That's also where you can learn more about the Women in Motorsports Initiative.